611 is the time right now. We're keeping an eye on the tropics this morning. Tropical storm Ernesto formed in the Atlantic yesterday and now it's moving toward Puerto Rico. We are just getting over Debbie. Yeah. So I'm just hoping that this is a better turnout. We want to bring Jonathan yeah, back in. So if the storm continues to gain more strength, it right. could become a third hurricane yeah. of the season. Just finishing with Debbie right. and now here we go again. Looks yeah. like uh, another storm system that potentially could have some at least indirect impact on the United States. Uh, tropical storm Ernesto newly forming in the past 24 hours. It was potential tropical cycle in number five moves over Puerto Rico and then eventually makes the turn becoming a category one hurricane could have a uh, direct landfall on Bermuda potentially already tropical storm warnings posted from Puerto Rico all the way back to Antigua and uh, just north of uh, Martinique and those areas in green in Puerto Rico. Yes, they could see up to six plus inches rain like we saw around here from Debbie, except there's a lot of mountains here, so that can lead to some devastating flash flooding. This is why we have flood watches out for Puerto Rico. Now spaghetti plots. This is our computer models and in my past 22 years of forecasting hurricanes, uh, you know, when you have this big agreement amongst these computer models that goes right over Bermuda, by the way, Usually you have a pretty sure bet that that's where the steering of your storm is going to go. And actually that's dictated by this uh, kind of swirl that's across the central Atlantic. This thing's going to kind of sneak under it and kind of get dragged to the north around that swirl. And uh, that's what we call an upper level low pressure system. It's really just kind of a, a steering current, if you will, uh, to get your storm kind of turning, if you will. And it looks like that will make a hard right eventually going across Bermuda and then north. We could see some indirect effects, which could include uh, some higher than average surf as well as potentially even some rip currents at the beaches late this week into this weekend. So that's something to keep your eyes and ears out for.